Hello there guys, I am super excited to present to you guys the new 2024 KTM Duke 390 and boy KTM have absolutely nailed it. absolutely nailed it and literally set the stage ablaze with this new scorcher of a screamer of a performer and scorcher of a machine so what all have they packed it to actually take the game to another level altogether let's find out in this review so as you can see this is the beast in in all its mighty glory okay so this is the blue color variant you also have an orange color variant which looks almost similar to this one which is actually a 250 but uh, the tank cowl and everything uh, looks almost similar in the 390 except for the fact that the wheels are orange and the frame is also orange so you need to understand that this design is very close to the super duke design muscular tank shrouds to highlight the stance of a predator ready to pounce on its prey and then of course the difference between the 390 and the 250 the 250 as you can see gets only headlamp cowls whereas here in the 390 you get drls housed here and the cowl so and of course you get led headlamp you have led turn indicator and a satin finish to the front fender wp apex suspension this one is fully adjustable for compression and rebound five step adjustability the adjustment given here and here five click adjustment okay as opposed to the 250 which doesn't get front adjustable front suspension okay and then of course uh, wp apex suspension 43 mm open cartridge forks for better damping characteristics better front end feel then of course you have hubless disc 320 mm of a good feedback and initial bite and then of course disc at the back dual channel abs with super motor mode and uh, traction control quick shifter and whatnot now coming to the tank now this is a 15 liter tank mind you when compared to the uh, older uh, generation model so larger tank and despite that this one is uh, lighter than the outgoing model this is just 168 kilos so that makes it uh, significantly lighter than the outgoing model and then of course you have a underbelly exhaust that makes a comeback from the first gen model and it uh, really adds on to the overall visual appeal and also the mass centralization concept offering better weight distribution and better handling characteristics and better riding dynamics and uh, then of course the seat height now it is lower at 800 mm when compared to the 830 mm of the outgoing model gen 2 model and uh, this well cushioned and has very good quality foam adequate space for the rider to move around and adequate space for the pillion uh, to easily hop on and go riding two up on weekend rides and uh, even the sharp tank shrouds have air uh, inlets here to help cool the engine or help direct the air into that uh, into the engine compartment and then talking about the engine the lc4c liquid cooled four valve compact engine 399 cc of pure mayhem awaits you 46 ps of relentless force and 39 newton meters of earth shattering torque with six speed gearbox completes this beast and makes it what it is so this is the overview of the bike then another thing that you would notice is the offset monoshock now why have they given an offset monoshock first thing is to house a larger air box that allows the engine to breathe easy and uh, you know accelerate is seamlessly and more easily more aggressive throttle response more exhilarating acceleration and exhilarating performance and aggressive throttle response awaits you because of the larger airbox and uh, then of course uh, you have the lower seat to lower the seat they had to move the monoshock and make it an offset monoshock and again that is again connected from the chassis all the way to the swing arm so that adds on to the overall chassis stability chassis orientation and the handling characteristics which are amplified with the new swing arm design which not only looks like a piece of art but also does the job for you and then this one is no less the bolt-on aluminium subframe this is made up full uh, die cast aluminium and uh, that adds on uh, reduces weight and adds on to better agility and better maneuverability and overall 
handling characteristics of the motorcycle. The tires are Metzeler's front and rear, 150 section rear, 110 section front tire, and then of course uh, the tail lamp, all new as you can see. Turn indicators remain the same. Speed console is all new, and the mirrors are new as well. You have aluminium stock, so they feel premium and uh, good field of view offered by the mirrors. So even the throttle grips are new, offering uh, you know lesser throttle rotation than uh, prior, uh, allowing you to tap into the full power and lunacy that this bike uh, packs. So this is the all-new Speedo console, instrument console, inspired from that of the 1290 Super Duke. Now this is how it looks, the user interface looks super kick-ass and super uh, vibrant. You have the launch control, you have ABS uh, mode displayed, traction control displayed, lap timing and other details. So in order to change the mode, you can uh, get into motorcycle and you have uh, riding modes, you have in track, so that you can change to street or rain. So in street, again you have a different layout, if you can see, this is the layout in the street, you have the gear position here, the speedo here and the, everything changes, the ABS mode and the MTC mode is displayed over here. So similarly, if you get back into settings and get back into the ride mode and change it to rain, let's see whether the let's see whether the display changes again. No, it remains the same for the rain and the street. For the track, it changes. Okay, so that is something you need to understand. And uh, then you have ABS mode, which you can switch between supermoto and road. So in supermoto, as you can see, this rear wheel abs is disengaged so the rear wheel can still lock up can perform those stunts uh, that you want with the supermoto mode on and then of course coming back to traction control here you can turn it on or off to turn it off you will have to long press the button and there you can see that it is turned off then you have launch control which is useful for racetrack uh, riders and circuit riders who actually uh, i mean the machine will help you launch the vehicle uh, properly without excess wheel spin so that is something about launch control that you need to know and then of course you have uh, the bike information coolant temperature fuel uh, range battery odometer and service interval and other details here you have the trip info with the distance trip time and other details and then you have uh, settings for uh, the quick selector toggle whichever you want to assign function you want to assign then the connectivity the quick shifter you can turn it on or off as if now it is on shift light you can program it as per your riding style clock and date and units you can set as per your preference even the language and then of course extra functions where you have launch control audio navigation remote control mode and the speed control that you can set as per your preference so this is a run through of the user interface of the uh, speedo console, new speedo console that is one of the finest features of the new 390 Duke. Then you have uh, the switch layout is completely different as well. You have navigation switches here, hazard lamp, hazard switch here, uh, which allows you to, uh, you know, make you make uh, makes you more visible in rainy and foggy conditions with all the four blinkers or four turning indicators blinking at the same time. Uh, you have a high beam uh, flasher right over here. And then of course the engine kill switch and the ignition switch so you have adjustable levers for the brake as well as the clutch and uh, this allows the bike to absolutely set itself free and offer a completely fatigue free riding experience ride by wire slipper clutch is offered and then in terms of electronics you have uh, abs you have traction control traction control which uh, prevents excess wheel spin and then of course uh, the quick shifter is seamlessly uh, working and uh, you will see me uh, going gaga over the way it rides in the ride review that is uploading a couple of days later and as of now this is the overview the price will be mentioned on the screen what do you guys think do you like this particular color variant or the orange color variant feel free to comment below let me know what do you think about the equipment what do you think about the value for money proposition feel free to comment below and let me know i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe